Hi guys, today I'm here with my little bebe Enzo and we made a video a while ago. Um, I did a little video introducing him to you guys and a lot of people were interested and that's been quite a popular video and a lot of people like this little man. Not surprising. But um, they wanted to know a little bit more about Italian Greyhound. And I'd like to share it with you guys. Um, I've had him for about eight months now and so yeah, I know <laughs> quite a bit, you know, I've picked up quite a few things and I know what side of things he likes, so if you're planning on getting an Italian Greyhound, then this video may help you. So, if you want to learn a little bit more about Enzo himself, then I've got another video which I'll link like here or something, on his face. You like being on video, huh? He's quite, he's very calm, aren't you? Yeah. Um, good yawn. Okay, so let's begin. I think generally people want to know um, what sort of pets an Italian Greyhound makes. An Italian Greyhound makes an amazing pet. I think anyone that's got an Italian Greyhound will tell you exactly the same thing. Thank you. Good to uh, Tell you exactly the same thing. They're the most loving, loyal, ugh, snuggly, warm, soft, amazing little friends. And um, I actually went to Crufts recently and we saw all the little Italians there. Went to go see them being judged and yeah, they were so cute but not as cute as this one. They do great with children too. I obviously don't have any children. There's no children in this household but I know that they do do well with children. As long as the children are careful and, you know, gentle with them because they are quite fragile doggies. But not as fragile as people think they are. But I'll go into that a bit later. Another thing people are often shocked about when I take him for a walk and I say he's an Italian Greyhound, they, they're shocked about the size, they think he's smaller than they imagined, um, they can't believe that he's pretty much full grown. Enzo is full grown now, um, pretty much. He's got a bit of bulking up in his muscle to do, but um, again I'll talk in a bit of detail about that later, about his diet that we're doing to help with that. But um, they're pretty small dogs, you know, they, they come to about your knee height and that's their head that will be at your knee height. They're a very, very small dog, it's just that their legs are very, very long, so um, they appear bigger than they are, but they're very, very skinny, um, very delicate, dainty little dogs. And you can see his neck here is very, very thin, and um, I can pretty much fit my, my hand around there, and he's got a very long snout. So their personality is so hilarious. <laughs> You'll never be bored in an Italian Greyhound, but I also want to stress that they have a lot of work. Like, they are crazy. They're mental. Yes, they do sleep and they're very, very snuggly and cuddly and that's one of my favourite things about them. But they're also very, very hyper. Very, very crazy. They need, I would say, personally, I mean, everybody says different, but about an hour long walk a day. Some people say more than that. Some people say two hour long walks a day. Um, but we have a very, very long garden and it's, you know, it's very, very long and we play with him a lot in the garden, we throw balls for him, we run around with him and um, so I don't feel like he needs quite as long as that but it's all personal preference and what you think your dog needs I suppose but as far as exercise, you know, they do need a bit of, e bit of exercise if you're somebody that doesn't go out a lot then I wouldn't recommend it and also if you're somebody that goes to work a lot and doesn't have time in the day to look after a dog this is not the dog for you he needs a lot of attention, a lot of fuss yeah and he likes to always be with you, he's never on his own um, Enzo doesn't really leave my side so if you, again, if you don't like clingy dogs don't get an Italian Greyhound but these are known as the Velcro dog because they're always stuck to you Okay, health for the Italian Greyhound. They're a pretty clean bill of health. The only thing that I really would say is an issue is the legs. Um, when they're little, their legs are very, very dainty, very, very easy and susceptible to breaks. So don't let them jump off things like the sofa, off beds, especially the back of sofas. Like they will try and get on the back of sofas, they love it there. Um, be very, very careful with the stairs. Um, you want to walk them enough and a lot that they build up the muscles in their legs so that their legs aren't going to just snap because it's very very easy to get a break on an Italian Greyhound leg whether an adult not quite as easy um, but still a risk and you've got to be very very careful with them build their legs up, build the muscles up and don't be too don't be too over the top with play for the first year Okay, feeding! I brought a little example. Now, when Enzo was a puppy, when I got him from the breeder, he was on Iam's puppy. He wasn't that keen on it, so I switched him to Baker's after a few months, Baker's puppy, and that's the dry food, the kibbles. 
Um, he doesn't have wet food apart from what I'm going to show you now, which is a new development in his diet. We've decided to feed him. Um, so he'd have the dry food, he'd have like three meals a day, like little meals, and he'd gobble it all up and he very much enjoyed it. But when I saw the um, Italian grains at Crufts, I realised Enzo's a little bit skinny and they recommend that I feed him tripe. So I've got this stuff which is 100% tripe, and it's by, I don't know who it's by, Nature's Menu, Real Food, Pets Love, and this is 100% tripe, and they do other things too, they do like chicken and beef and whatnot. Um, you, it says in the back that you can add apples, carrots, carbs, berries, fish oil, spinach, peas, herbs, and seaweed, if you would eat seaweed. Would you eat seaweed? Yeah. So this is really good, it absolutely stinks, disgusting, and I... I've struggled to be honest to feed it to him and like slice it up and stuff because it makes me gag. It's got all like strings and things in it. But he loves it, he gobbles it down and he's definitely put weight on in the past few weeks since we've been feeding it to him. He's bulked up quite a lot and he's full of energy. So, are you tired today? Okay, so I got a question on my last video about his coat and um, whether he sheds. He doesn't shed at all. Um, it's very rare that I'll find anything from him. So if you are allergic to um, a lot of dogs, um, you need a hypoallergenic one, I would suggest an Italian Greyhound. I'm allergic to a lot of things, including some dogs, um, cats, and pretty much all other animals, like especially rodents and gu guinea pigs especially. Um, I'm not at all allergic to him. So if you are allergic to a lot of animals and you're scared about you know, whether you'll be allergic to an Italian Greyhound, I'm not allergic to him. That obviously could differ from person to person, but he, he doesn't shed. He takes pretty much no work whatsoever as far as the coat. I give him a wash every sort of two months or something like that, or if he gets especially dirty. He actually had um, a little bit of a foot bath today, didn't you? Because you were digging in the garden like a naughty boy. Yeah and a little snout scrub. But other than that, they recommend that you buff them with something, so people say a chamois leather or a piece of silk, but you can get those, um, they're like toweled mitts that you like wash your body with. I actually used one of those on him the other day and he just came up so shiny and so soft and smooth, so I'd recommend getting, like, you could use a flannel or the things I suggested. But so, so easy to keep clean and groom and whatnot, and he's always very, very soft. With other dogs, he's been great. The thing is, when he goes on walks, he's quite skittish. When he meets other dogs, he's not sure. He's running all over the place. He's tangling around my legs with his lead. He's not sure. But dogs that he's introduced to and he knows, like friends' dogs and our old dog, loves them, plays with them. It's great for him, you know. They chase each other around. They have so much fun, and it's great for getting his energy out because he's got a lot of it. Um, they seem great with other dogs. So as long as you introduce them properly, keep them very, very socialised from a young age. So make sure that you always take them out for um, walks, socialise with other dogs, so that they know other dogs and they can, you know, they're not going to be defensive in their or later years because they're not used to meeting other dogs. House training is something that with an Italian Greyhound is quite difficult. Um, a breeder that I was going to get an Italian Greyhound from before I got Enzo told me that she can train her whippets in nine days to be house trained, but her Italian Greyhounds take nine months. He is about nine months now. Enzo is still not 100% house trained. Sorry, I just got a text. He's not 100% house trained. They say with an Italian Greyhound they'll never be 100% house trained. You'll still sometimes find little accidents. He's getting so much better, he's nearly conquered it now. The only thing is it keeps weeing on the doormat. Um, because it's right next to being outside, I suppose, and if he can't, he really can't hold it, then he goes there before I even manage to get to the door in the morning sometimes, and I'm pretty speedy with getting him outside for a wee. He's watching out the window. <laughs> so other than that, he's pretty, pretty good now. The, when he goes to other people's houses, he's not quite as good because it's a new environment, but I think that's the same with a lot of dogs, so... Yeah, just keep trying, be persistent, and as far as teaching them tricks and things, I find he learns quite fast. The only thing is, he has this kind of attitude of what's in it for me, so uh, I've read that before I even got him, that they have that kind of attitude, and he definitely does. Um, they want to be rewarded, so keep treats at hand, small treats, little tidbits that they can eat. Okay, so finally I'm going to talk about price. Um, when I went to Crufts I was talking to a breeder in the Discovered Dogs and she said you don't want to pay any more than 800 for an Italian Greyhound. I know a lot of breeders are charging more. Um, the breeder I got him from, he was, I think he was 785, I 
I think he was 785, he may have been a bit less, I'm not entirely sure because I can't remember. But you don't want to be paying an excessive amount. The breeder I got him from also said that a lot of breeders are breeding Italian greyhounds with whippets. So you need to find a notable, like a good kennel club assured, proper breeder. Even if you're paying slightly more um, if you're wanting a pedigree Italian greyhound. If you're not bothered, obviously get what you want, but be, be aware that the kennel club ones are much more reliable, the health um, is there. You know that they're not like they're not puppy farmed and they're from a legit litter you know it's it's a whole ball game you know that you can look it up online but just make sure you go with a good breeder a reputable reputable breeder if you want to get a healthy dog and you want to support healthy breeding and whatnot so okay so i'm gonna go a little bit closer now with him because i know that people will want to see him but he's doing very very well if you saw my last video he's getting quite a bit bigger He's had the little snippy snip since the last video. I won't show you because it's rude, but he had the little snippy snip, didn't you? Another thing I recommend is having a lot of blankets at hand. These are two of his, but he's got so many blankets because he just loves them. He loves being wrapped up in them and they calm him down. So at night, if he won't settle, it's usually because he's tired and he's kind of a bit delirious because he's so, so tired. He wants to be wrapped, so I wrap him up. This one was from um, TK Maxx, I think. And this one was from, like, home bargains or something like that, just cheap ones and um, he just loves it so he likes to be wrapped. I'll show you right now. Okay so I usually wrap him like this and um, then he gets into bed with me, don't you? If you want to know how, <laughs> this is maybe a little bit of a silly video, but if you want to know how I swaddle him, I have this specific way and I call it the bag, he gets bagged in a blanket and it's quite a good way to like stop him escaping but you know keep making him so he feels safe, nice and safe and warm and secure. So if you want to see how I swaddle my Italian Greyhound, I don't know if that's a bit of a weird video to be honest, but I'm sure that someone will want to see it. Hmm? He really, really likes it. For clothing, Italian grey he just shook the camera. Italian Greyhounds get quite cold because they're very, very small, they don't have much body fat and they don't have much fur as you can tell. So they often shiver and even around the house when the radiators are on and it's pretty warm in the house. So at Crufts I got him this little pyjama thing. And this has got little um, jungle critters on it, little lions, and he's the giraffe because he's got a long neck, and an elephant. It's really, really cute, like co cottony fabrics. The pyjamas you can get online, like Italian greyhound pyjamas. These are by a brand called Butter, but they're not specifically for Italian greyhounds, these ones. Um, so yeah, those are nice to put on him. But then when out for walks, I find it really hard to find coats that are long enough for him. Uh, because Italian greyhounds have a much longer body than a regular dog. So I usually get things that are a bit bigger than he would normally wear because then they're longer. But online you can get specific things for Italian greyhounds as well, so look that up. But this is one I got from Pets at Home and it's got this nice like furry lined bit inside. And then um, this is from Walks, so this one's a bit small for him now, this was like a puppy one. But I put this on underneath and then from Crufts I got him this. And this is a red fleece. One minute ends, he wants to go out. A red fleece, it's got this like dark blue inside. This goes on top. And this is by snugglepets.co.uk. And this is a really, really cute one too, and he really likes this. It's a little bit big for him, um, if it's not over the top of something, but yeah. That looks really cute on him. Um, and I just want to talk about the toys that you like. So um, if you're wondering, hey, if you're wondering what toys to get your Italian Greyhound, I find that Enzo at least likes the soft kinds. He likes these skinny ones, these like flat skinny ones. Don't you? Yeah? Hello. And things like this. So like soft toys, like teddy bears, things with little um, squeakers and bells. And like some of the toys he's got like that crunchy kind of crisp packet feel like texture hey but the thing um, with him is he started chewing them up and he's actually shredded the crotch of this meerkat he also likes you can get I think they're from by Kong like they're mini mini tennis balls he's pulled all the fuzz off one of them but he really really likes them that's so weird look down he was chewing it so that's it he's pulled all the the fuzz off but he loves this one here you go he loves playing fetch in the garden with that so yeah that's all um, I have to say about Italian Greyhounds at the moment, but if there's any more questions, leave them down below and I'll definitely get those answered for you. So we'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching, commenting, subscribing and liking, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. Look. Bye. <laughs> bye. But if not, then woo, orange wood stick and dot on some white 
face paint, just like she did. Freckles are awesome. Because he's got such short fur, I guess, like you can really feel the heat coming from him. But he's boiling, he's like the perfect little hot water bottle. And he